Welcome, Tyler and Ben here from the One Shot Podcast. We're here with Michael Parsons, the reigning rookie defensive MVP. Uh, Michael, man, appreciate you joining us today. Uh, Want to talk a little bit about performance. Uh, and now that you've become a leader, a staple in that locker room in Dallas, uh, how important is it for you to be prepared to be able to lead by example? Yeah, it's uh, extremely important. So that way everyone sees my focus, everyone sees my detail, um, see me writing my notes, just see me doing everything right. So that way everyone's like, if our best player is doing it, you know, I got to do it too. So we can't have the standard drop off. So just having my sleep throughout the week with my sleep number smart bed has just been very crucial and vital to our team's success. Now, Dak's been uh, in a sleep number bed for some time now. Who are some of the other guys, your rookie or early on, that you looked at and said, okay, hey, I can take something from them, from them, and then? Uh, I definitely took stuff from guys like Zach Martin, Tyron Smith. Um, I took things from even D-Law and uh, I would say even Trayvon. Uh, you know, they just always knew everything the right way and just kind of show me the ropes and always lead me in the right direction. That's great, man. Well, we're excited to watch you over the next couple of years, uh, now, next long term yeah. here in Dallas. And uh, we're, we're, we're proud to call you one of our own. And uh, man, just keep doing what you're doing. One of the things that I love, you and D-Law, even on both ends, is man, the tenacity that you all play with, man. It's, you can't coach that. And special, and we're glad that you represent the star. Can't coach that for guys. That's can't right, coach that's effort. right. Appreciate you, man. All the best. All right, we're here with the Justin Jefferson, man. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So another record-breaking year for you, man. Uh, you're no longer known as the rookie newcomer to the scene, right? Yeah. You're now a veteran. Um, crazy. And as a veteran, he's not crazy. It goes fast. It's crazy. Uh, but as a veteran, others are looking to you on how it's done, how you how you perform on Sundays, how you get ready. So what is it for you that is most important in preparing for a game, whether it be recovery, nutrition, mental practice, what is it for you? All of the above, uh, really to, to have that, that perfect performance that you're looking to have. And uh, I mean, that quality sleep right before the game is definitely something that's big. You know, uh, that's definitely moments that I didn't get that uh, amount of sleep and I didn't perform good. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's definitely a difference. It goes to show you that uh, the better sleep that you're having, uh, the be better performance that you're going to have on, on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it's just that confidence boost to look at your sleep score and just be like, look, I know I'm ready. I'm ready to go on Sunday and go out and <laughs> throw three or four gritty performances out there, right? <laughs> yeah, For sure. like, like Tyler said, like Tyler said, you know, as you get older, recovery becomes even more important. Yeah. What are some things you're doing off the field as you get older to continue performing well? Yeah, and uh, the crazy part is I'm still learning. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm still young in my career, going on my fourth year. Uh, you know, just talking to Adam, him being a vet, uh, being in the league for 11 years, Patrick yeah. Peterson, 12 years, you know, Kirk. Uh, I mean, there's so many guys that I can talk to throughout that whole locker room that, that can teach me different ways to uh, better, you know, recover my body, um, you know, things that I should invest in to yep. better myself. So uh, there's different ways that a lot of people can, you know, better their self recovery wise, mental wise, sleep wise. Uh, and I'm just here to soak it all up. So I love it. I love it. Last awesome. question, man, is you, you just mentioned a bunch of great leaders. Um, what are you excited about next year? Had a great season this year. What are you looking forward to next year to building on? To even be even better. All right, here we go. We are with <laughs> Austin Eckler. So last year was the first time we got a chance to meet. And I, I mean, I was always a fan of you, but man, to, to get to know you, talk to you last year and to watch the year that you had, yeah. 2022, man, I'm, yeah. I couldn't be happier. It couldn't I, happen I, to a better guy. I appreciate that. I appreciate but that. it's not that it happened to you, you made it happen. Ah, and ah. you went out there and big part of that has been recovery. So yeah. have you anything new that you've implemented into your, your recovery process, your training regimen that just helped you elevate this last year? Um, so I was pretty consistent with my training and my like my recovery last year. So there's there's a whole cycle, as we know, when it comes to, you know, you know, just being an athlete. And, you know, part of that is the recovery. Part of that's going and doing the workouts, right? The, the learning part of it. Yeah. And but at the end of the day, right, there's always the, hey, OK, we're coming down. Got to rest so you can go do it again tomorrow. And so I got pretty consistent last year and it still carried over into this year as far as getting the same sleep, right? Being on the same the same number, right? Using the bed, right? I actually have it in my off-season house as well now, right? We got we got to keep keeping the recovery, you know, even during the off-season. So it's been it's been consistent. Good, good, good. Do you have the same problem that we have that we're spoiled by our sleep number bed? So yes. when we travel, we don't have it. Yes. Horrible night's sleep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I won't say horrible. Not as good. It just definitely, really definitely good. noticeable that it's yeah. like, okay, this is not what I'm used to yeah. type of yeah Absolutely. type of sleep. So yeah, Absolutely. I agree with that. One. So one thing uh, really watching you is 
to me, and I, I had the pleasure to play and block for Matt yeah. Forte, right? Yeah. And this dual threat running back. The running back position over the last few years, for, for some people have said, okay, it's not as important. But then here comes Austin this year showing exactly how important <laughs> that position is. Yep. But you do have to do more. So yeah. what's that mentality like, okay, hey, I got to carry the load and I got to yeah. do more. I got to be able to catch the ball. I got to be able to pass, protect, and run. For us at the running back position, man, I'm like, we bring so much value, right? We bring yeah. so much value to the team, um, especially the guys that were at the top of our game. Yeah. Um, that it's, it's not something that you can just replace. And, you know, what's the best way to win games, to control the game, is run the ball, yeah. right? So if you can do that consistently, man, you're going to be in such a better spot at the end of the, end of the season. Last question. Uh, you, from what I remember, you're very analytical about your sleep number setting yes. and, and how you track all that. You're also, I've heard, one of the pound for pound strongest guys mm. on your team. So mm. has that rubbed off what you're doing on the, you know, from the recovery side? Has that rubbed off to your I teammates? I mean, they're, they're, they're hand in hand, you know, yeah. like you have to have something that works for you. Yeah. We all have a different routine that we do, you know. Some guys like working out and doing things more than others, like me, like we're working out. Yeah. Like, that's, what, that's what I'm gonna do during the off season. I can't wait to start my content, right? Start working out, start this this journey, right? Yep. Um, and so it's not like that for everybody, right? And you know, I wish it was, yeah. you know, because I think it helps me have you know longevity in my career. I hope I think it helps with you know injury prevention and all of these other trickle down effects that helps you with you know mental health, right? Your mental toughness, your just strength, you know, your mobility as you get older in life, right? right. Just get, having good habits good healthy habits and so I wish it was something that was more but I think I'm a good example where it's like hey you can do this you can lift as much as I do and still have Absolutely. a successful career yeah, yeah. I love it all right well I hey, appreciate you Austin man. yeah thanks boys enjoy your time out here yeah. and looking forward likewise to watching next likewise year. keep crushing it all right awesome